Late Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen. A special hour dedicated to the uh, standard process of Southern California, SP of Southern California. We have the Director of Clinical Nutrition, Cindy DeFerdinand, and the President of SP of Southern California, Greg Curtis. Before the break, Cindy and I were, uh, were talking about, is America knowledgeable about nutrition? And I had to cut Cindy off so that we could do some business. Cindy, again, are we knowledgeable? Does America know about nutrients and nutrition? I think they are learning more and more over time. You know, I would have to say, you know, now versus 10, 20 years ago, there's so much information out there that I think sometimes it can be confusing for people. But the basics, um, you know, are pretty, the basics of nutrition are pretty simple. I think a lot of times um, it's complicated in terms of what all the information that's out there for people. I do think they're not educated enough on what proper supplementation, what what proper whole food supplementation means and what it can do for them. I think I I continue, and I'm sure Greg feels the same way, as well as all of our healthcare practitioners out there and doctors, we're constantly trying to educate people on what that means and how important it is to get your nutrition in its most natural form the way the body is meant to digest, utilize, and absorb it. So there are a lot of products out there, but there's a huge difference between a whole food supplement, which is what Santa Process stands for, whole food ingredients, uh, vertically integrated, grown on their farm, processed as carefully as possible. And minimally? Supplements. Minimally processed? Minimally processed? Yeah, to protect the integrity of the of the whole food ingredient. Absolutely. Right. The uh, recently, uh, the supplement industry has once again come under attack. Greg, I think this is a this should be directed to you. Uh, the FDA and the uh, the 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 Federal Drug Administration, whose mandate is to protect the American people. That's it has nothing to do with health. It only has to do with protect. And in my opinion, I've said this on the show before, the FDA protects big pharma. I want to take it in this direction for a moment. Do you think that supplements will be only available by prescription at some point because the FDA doesn't want people to be able to buy vitamin D? Well... I certainly hope not, and I think, um, you know, I I agree with you that uh, there is certain protections uh, more towards the pharmaceutical industry. You can see how many prescription drugs are used in America uh, every single year. I think, uh, you know, the dietary supplement industry has often been incorrectly criticized for being unregulated, and I think that that's a... Uh, that's a, a, a topic of uh, conversation that's put out there by a number of different people. And that perception is incorrect. So the FDA has always been able to regulate the dietary supplement industry using food regulations. And now there's been the Shea Act uh, to regulate food supplements. That are processed. And we just celebrated, we just celebrated, I think, 20 years of the Shea. Yeah, exactly. Or 25, 20 so or 25. Yeah, I think it was started in 1994. So, um, so, so similar process in particular is very, very regulated. So, I, I guess it may be also a case of as people become more educated, um, going online, finding the right information. Because what we know is everything you find on the internet is not necessarily true. There is some mis- misinformation out there. But because we have a certified organic farm. And because we have a certified organic manufacturing processing plant, and because we're a food supplement and a whole food supplement and all these different things, we are under constant regulation. So I guess it kind of falls into, uh, look, people are taking more and more control over their health care, and I would call it wellness care. So I think it's up to the general public to kind of reach out and protect what they want and what they continue to want so that they do have access to it, so that things aren't taken away from them um, without them even realizing that they're going to be going away. So, you know, who who knows 
you know, what's going on in the mind of our regulators many times. But uh, I, I guess it's all about stand up and protect what you want. I know that we talk to a lot of doctors, MDs here on late night health, and when I mention supplementation, a lot of them say, well, there's no regulation, just as you said, and the regulations are very strict, very very tight, and they have to be followed. And are they not followed by some companies? Absolutely. The same is true in the pharmaceutical industry. There are bad apples every place. And I'm not against pharmaceuticals. I just don't think they should be the first line of defense all the time. I think supplements have been proven to be effective. We talked in our break, uh, last break, uh, Cindy and I, about allergies. I suffer from something makes me wheezy, sneezy, and it's not my wife. I love my wife, Daryl. <laughs> but, um, well, most of the time. And... And, uh, you know, we know that these things work and that they don't increase blood pressure, for example. And we need, you know, so we need to, I want to further discuss this uh, uh, when we come back. Uh, Our guest from uh, SP of Southern California, Cindy DeFerdinand, the clinical director and the president of SP of Southern California. And we uh, send a a shout out to Don Klosterman and say, thanks, Don. For bringing these guys to to us today, uh, I'm Mark Allen along with the insane Daryl Wayne. Don't go away. More coming up. <laughs> 